Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talk Sport. In this one, I'm just doing a preview ahead of our Premier League game against Brighton at home at the Emirates. Um, of course, coming on the back of our 2-2 draw away at Norwich, um, a game which we probably should have lost in the end. And, you know, this will be um, Freddie's first game in charge at, at the Emirates for me. I know some people are not quite happy with his press conference when he said that he, he looks to Wenger for advice. And I know quite a lot of the fan base, including myself, wanted Wenger out towards the end of his reign. And, you know, he did eventually leave. Um, but for me, I think some of the things I've taken from Freddie is he says he wants us to be playing attacking football, etc. And, you know, he wants to win the fans over and stuff and put smiles on faces. For me, the first way you can do that is you play the, the, the top front four. And, you know, that front four for me um, involves a Bamyang, Lacazette, Ozil and Pepe. And even if you can only involve three of them, um, depending on what sort of team he wants to put out, I could even understand if I saw a Bamyang, Pepe, Ozil and then maybe a Martinelli off the left-hand side or a Nelson, I could fully um, understand choices for that. Um, for me at present... I just think that we need to be hitting teams going all out. None of this pragmatic stuff. And, you know, I saw some improvements from the players in the Norwich game. Some of them looked like they, they were fighting for the manager. And, you know, it's maybe because they got more respect for Freddie. But at the same time, in, in football, with players and player power nowadays, no matter how much respect you think a player has for a coach, they'll, they'll quickly throw him under the bus when need be. So, for me, um, I think this is going to be a, a difficult game. You know, Brighton's no no pushovers. Um, there was in quite a decent run of form before, you know, when they was beating the likes of um, Spurs. And, you know, they got some decent players in their team, you know, guys like Dunk and Duffy at the back, you know, some decent centre-halves, definitely better than um, probably the majority of the centre-halves we have at the club at present. And um, they've got Connolly, has been doing the business of recent also. So, um, for me, I don't think this is going to be an easy game. Of course, I'd love the players to prove me wrong and, you know, put in a demolition job performance. But based on what we've seen of recent... I don't really see it happening. I am confident we'll win, but I think it'll be a scrappy win. I think it'll be a, a 3-2 win to us. And without further doubt, I'm going to get straight into my starting eleven for this game. In goal, I'm going to go with Bernd Leno. Um, without him and Aubameyang, we'd probably be in the bottom three. That's the reality of it. He's had to make the most saves so far this season. And, you know, he's been our, our best player at times, many times. So um, it's quite evident he, he stays in goal. Um, at right back for me, I'm going for back four. Right back, um, Hector Bellerin. Nothing against Chambers, but it, uh, I'd like to see Bellerin play in this game. Um, for me, I'd rather see Chambers play centre-half or on that CDM role. But that's just my opinion. At left back, I'm going to go with Kieran Tierney. Um, I didn't think Kalasin actually had the worst of games in the last game. Some people are still slating him, which I was quite shocked about because I thought, you know, he was one of his better games on the Arsenal shirt. But for me, we brought Tierney in as his has he's an upgrade on Kalasinac and I expect him to play in, in this game um, the two centre-halves first one I'm going to go with David Luiz now he didn't have the best of games in the, the last performance um, but he can get the ball up from the back he can hit them long diagonal passes and you know at times those passes are quite vital to us um, playing the ball and transition it quickly from defence to attack so for me uh, I would have Louise in there. Alongside him, I'd actually go with Callum Chambers. Now, I know Freddie come under some criticism for bringing in Mustafi in the last game. Um, but to be fair to him, Mustafi's been doing decent when he's played in the Europa League and Carabao Cup. And Socrates has been quite poor recent. So, for me, I could understand dropping him. Um, I, I wouldn't be playing him again in this game. Um, and I would go with Chambers alongside him. Going into that midfield two. Firstly, I'm going to go with Lucas Torreira. Um, again, this is a player I want to see starting games, playing that defensive midfield role. Um, you know, when he when he plays that position, he, he plays it greatly. Um, you know, Emery's not here no more, so hopefully we won't be seeing no more of this number number 10-ish position that he finds himself on the pitch. Um, but for me, uh, that's where I'd like to see him. Alongside him, um, I'd actually go with Granit Xhaka. Yes, he had all the commotion and drama. Um, about a month ago when the mad madness happened. Um, he's come back into the side. He played relatively well last week, Thursday. And I thought he had a good performance against Norwich. So for me, I, I'll keep him in there. I think he's the, him and Torreira is the best two we have in the pivot at the club um, in that middle of the park. So for me, I'll, I'll stick with the two of them. I kind of 
mentioned it prior at the beginning of this video. Um, for me, the front four I'd go for for this game is the big four. Um, Ozil in the 10, Aubameyang off the left, Pepe off the right, Lacazette through the middle. Um, you know, that's how we're going to, that's how Freddie himself can get fans back on side. And, you know, I think if we, we go out there, hit them on the front foot, I definitely think we can get goals in and get the result. Um, but that's my thoughts on the game. Of course, I'd be willing to hear what other people's thoughts on the game is. Let me know what your score predictions and what team lineup you would go for for this game. Um, and that's all for me for this one. So um, if you haven't already done so, make sure you go hit the subscribe button now. In the description box, I have my socials, my Twitter, my Instagram. Make sure you follow me on those. And, you know, like I said, leave your comments with your thoughts on that regarding the upcoming game. And I'll catch you next time.